Pickups, September 2022. I'm gonna to have to make this relatively quick, you see, because I'm doing this in 4K and on my phone it only lasts for five minutes. So we're getting to the DLC first, or DLC rather, and uh, digital content, because I'd never seem to mention what digital games that I buy. So uh, Samurai Showdown, Neo Geo Collection on the Xbox, well these are all on the Xbox uh, One and the Xbox Series X. So Samurai Showdown, Neo Geo Collection, um, which is about eight quid on a deal. Uh, Tiny Hands Adventure uh, was 79p. Gold Boy, which was about two quid. Um, Gold Boy being like an eight bit platformer. Uh, Roar of Revenge, another eight bit type platformer, about four or five quid, will be cheaper soon. Uh, Hard Platformers Collection, Super Cyborg, which is a bit like Contra. Well, that actually is Contra. Um, and Dead Dungeon, a little eight bit platformer, both very hard games. Uh, Rick Henderson, a shoot 'em up by uh, East Asia Soft. Um, Game Type DX by Mommy's Best Games, another shoot 'em up, a bit weird, but it's really good. Um, Speed Limit, an 8 bit type game, forget what it's about. Uh, forget prices, I mean, prices are not really important. They're not very expensive, let's put it that way. Uh, uh, and Radical Rex, which is obviously a game that used to be on the Game Boy, and I think it was the Amiga as well. Um, could be wrong, could be. Uh, it's called a PC engine, I can't remember now, but check that one out. And some DLC, Crash Course for Left 4 Dead. So that leaves me with my physical games. We're gonna go from newest to oldest. First one, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection on the Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Great collection, some of the lags a little bit bad in some of the later games. If you can pick it up for about 15 quid brand new, do so. 
uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Nintendo Wii U, Sex Shop Special, uh, this was four quid, not a bad game, pretty good actually. Uh, Left 4 Dead Game of the Year Edition, um, pick this up, now going, most of these are from the Sex Shop, in fact they are, all are really. Um, uh, left, yeah, what can I say about that, brilliant, uh, love that, have done for years but I've lost my copy. Uh, Just Cause 2 limited edition from CEX, £1.50, all the DLC included. Couldn't be happier with that one. Didn't need the DLC because I already had it for some reason. Anyway, uh, Fable 2, lost my copy of that, £1.50 I believe that was as well, £2. Again, CEX special. Uh, Star Trek Legacy on the Xbox 360. Um, might be worth mentioning that all of my actual boxes, I use isopropyl alcohol on them to clean them up which is good gets rid of that cex scum on there um you know what i mean all the sticky stuff that was about three quid i think now last four playstation 2 saw this in the shop the other day um and unfortunately the disc was cracked so i couldn't buy it so i went on cex online and bought these both in brilliant condition night rider one and two on the playstation 2 um looking forward to playing these there will be some video footage coming up very soon um yeah really excited about those um eight quid per night rider two five quid per night rider i believe it was uh next one on the racing themes crazy fog racer yeah featuring the annoying thing i'm sure you remember that if you're old enough um two quid yep i actually really enjoyed this it, for some re reason it reminds me of f-zero gx goodness knows why final one outrun two versions see it's coast to coast it had to be didn't it really um, I wanted the Xbox version, um, but wasn't really willing to pay that amount for it. Um, I think this was eight quid. Now, the one game I'm actually looking for uh, is Need for Speed Most Wanted on the Xbox 360. Can I, and that's the original one, not the, the second one. Can I find it? Yes. Do I want to pay the amount that's asking for it at the moment? No. Will it come up at a boot sale? Yes. One day we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, those are my pickups for September 2022. Oh, and wait a minute. There is a bit later that I'm gonna be adding to this video, um, which is some Spectrum games that my brother found in a skip. Gotta love your brother that works as a fucking skip lorry driver, don't you? You know, he's picked up some, he's found some great things for me. Anyway, you'll see them a bit later on. What's next? Here's the second part of this video's pickups uh, that I mentioned earlier. And here we go, ZX Spectrum stuff found in the bottom of a skip of all places. I mean, you can't beat a good bit of scratching at the end of the day. Kind of reminds me of a guy I used to work with called Fred. At a care home in Surrey. Um, coincidentally, actually, it was a very, a place on, it was actually a jumble sale we had there. I actually got a load of Mega Drive games from, so, um, but anyway, that's the reference, you know. This guy was a scratcher. We called him Scratcher because he was always bin diving. Well. As I say, my brother, um, there's a lot more than what I've got here. They've only got about eight, I think. Uh, but my brother does seem to come up with some things occasionally from skips. Uh, he found some medals, World War II medals, one of which was, uh, well, it was actually called Pip Squeak and Wilfred. And if you know anything about World War II medals, you'll know that uh, there was a particular one, the Wilfred one, I believe it was. This, anyway, this particular medal was worth about 700 quid. Uh, or the whole lot was 700, 800 quid. Um, I took it to the Antiques Roadshow in Powers Castle back in July and got it valued there. So, um, which actually I believe can be on TV soon, although I wasn't being interviewed or anything like that. But anyway, that will be for another day. ZX Spectrum Games. So what did we get then? So what did my dearest brother find in the skip? Well, apparently one of his colleagues actually had loads of them. Um, and I don't know, basic, it was some kind of joke between them and then so the guy gave my brother about eight games. I've got no Spectrum, I can't use them. Um, and even if I did have a Spectrum, we all know how long it takes to load a game and quite often it will crash and you have to start again. So best played on an emulator. Uh, one of which I do remember, um, and my brother sent me a little snippet of the picture of the box and told me to guess the game. Well, it took me about two weeks to guess it, but I remembered it and I'll get to that in a second. So what did we get? Well, first one was Championship Baseball. Uh, yeah, uh, Beachhead 2. <laughs> Professional Ski Simulator. Uh, Grand Prix Simulator. Uh, jet Bike Simulator, even though the 
back of the oh no the back case is here this is just a little bit knackered um yeah uh cyrus's chest cyrus's chest yeah that's what it says on the side cyrus's chest and then the one that my brother sent me a picture of and i couldn't work it out because every time i tried to do a reverse image lookup using google um it kept coming up with a melon any guesses yet uh whiz ball whiz ball on the zx spectrum um yeah and he continues to find things i mean he's i've already had a couple of uh family clone games from him and some other bits and pieces i forget now but he, you just know you just know that he's going to hit the mother load one day so um i'm obviously first port of call when it comes to that sort of thing so um he's hoping that the mother load does come at some point and we find some interesting stuff because so far i mean games aside he's found loads of stuff but um it's coming, it's still coming, and I've got these, so, you know, brilliant. Anyway, that was the ZX Spectrum stuff. What's next?